Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me and happy new year. So I've had some little carbide tools made. All personalized with my little face on it. Got a little emblem in the bottom there and it says manufactured in the UK. So a friend of mine uh, decided that he wanted to make a set of these for me. Um, we've made a few sets and uh, I will have a few of these sets up on my website if anyone's interested in purchasing them. They're pretty cool. I've got myself a round carbide cutter. We've got the diamond carbide cutter and the square carbide cutter. So I've got a set of three and they're pretty awesome. So if anyone's interested um, in purchasing a set of these, I will stick a few sets up on my website. Um, it's not something that I'm gonna be making loads of, well I don't make them, but uh, we thought it was quite cool to come up with my own little set of carbides. Um, nice piece of word, uh, nice emblem in the bottom, and obviously printed with my uh, little NZ wood turning face. Uh, on there as well so that's pretty cool. So I've just got a little bit of an update for you today. I haven't been putting my Wednesdays out recently because I've been pretty busy with Christmas and obviously Maker Central is going to stop me from putting those up as well because there's so many things to be getting on with. Um, I really haven't got the time to make two videos a week at the moment. I'm kind of struggling to make one but I'm going to do my best to make sure I get the Friday projects up and they're more important to me and I'm pretty sure you uh, than the Wednesday waffles. I just thought I'd kind of come on just today because I haven't been on for a couple of Wednesdays and just give you guys a bit of an update. Obviously had some new tools made for me, that was pretty cool. Uh, we're working pretty hard on Maker Central at the moment. We've now got four months left to Maker Central. January is going to go really, really quick. February, well, that's a short month. And then January, February, March, that's just gonna fly by, April, and then we're there. It's not gonna be long now before everyone hits out to Makers Central. We're still working on more makers coming to the show that we're gonna be announcing soon. Um, again, it's just gone a little bit quiet over Christmas because obviously we've all had a bit of time off. We'll have some more news for you with some more makers. Keep checking the website for what to see and what to do. That's gonna be growing over the next few months. Um, and also the on stage area, we're gonna be freeing up some space on there and, and squeezing in a few more people because there's a few more people that wanna come down and actually do some Q and A's. One company I do wanna mention, which is one of our uh, main sponsors, is Mano Mano. Check them out. Uh, really great company, they contacted us and they wanted to be one of the main sponsors for the show. They're gonna be sponsoring the main entrance area. They're also gonna have a little bit on stage and that'll be updated on the website very soon. Really great company and I'd urge you to check them out. Link is below for Mano Mano. Well, I've cleaned my shop up recently and I really don't wanna start any more projects because it's so clean that I wanna mess it up. The shop gets dirty really, really quickly and it literally gets covered in dust and uh, shavings and rag and all sorts of mess everywhere. And it, I really, really hate a dirty working environment. I like my shop to be clean, but sometimes it's not possible. There's stuff everywhere, tools all over the floor, you know what I mean? Because when you're in the mix of it and you're making stuff, you get a tool out, you leave it on the side, it falls on the floor. It's just a mess. <laughs> but it's pretty clean at the moment. Uh, I'll give you a little walk around. When I say pretty clean, I mean, it's this is clean for me. I mean, I've got like a nice bit of space on my desk desk, worktop, um, and that is unusual. When you're working on a project, it gets covered, absolutely covered. Um, so as we go along, we've got a little bit more uh, space around here, so that's quite nice. Um, this area is normally absolutely covered. This is generally down, uh, this little cabinet, and the whole of this is generally covered in everything. So. Uh, that's been cleaned up, quite nice. Um, as we go along, I've still got to do that project. Um, I am thinking about probably chopping this up into pieces, um, but it's there and it's ready to be taken care of. Don't know when yet, but it will be done. Uh, so again, moving along, um, 
We've got another little bit of an area which is a bit cleaner. That's quite nice. Again, this is normally all covered, absolutely covered. Um, I say it probably doesn't look that clean to you guys, but honestly, trust me, it's clean. Um, and then this is again, this is normally sort of like covered with stuff. Um, this is all normally covered with loads of stuff all over it. And this is normally covered with loads of stuff. And I've got myself a little bit organised here. I've even got my little uh, sanding pad grits in there. 120, 80, 240, 320, 400, 600. Perfect. Normally, they're all scattered everywhere. Um, and like all just in a pot and you know, you can't find which grit you want. So that's quite nice. Um, and I've cleaned this up, giving this a little bit of an oil. This is really important really to keep this kind of oiled up. This normally gets covered in all sorts of, you know, muck from obviously the stuff that you're putting on it, uh, on your work, and it sort of falls onto here and you get glue on it and all sorts. So I've really cleaned this up and I've coated this in a nice bit of three-in-one oil. Um, and actually I've used a bit of this as well, which is this machine wax. Got this from Axminster uh, and I've just given that a bit of a coat. Same with my bandsaw. Um, I've given this a nice clean and again coated that with a nice bit of wax on there as well and again that just protects it it's quite cold and damp out at the moment so that really protects it from going a bit rusty same with these kind of bits so this is nice and easy to slide backwards and forwards you know so just give this a nice clean that's what I do now and again so yeah it looks looks pretty clean you know my, my, uh, my lathe looks kind of nice and clean and shiny again it's back to brand new <laughs> I know some of you ask about my uh, lathe um, and um, I tried to keep up with the comments but it's a record power CL4 uh, lathe. It's a really good lathe but they do lots of different ones obviously. This is the one that I've chosen. It is quite a big lathe um, but it's got the variable speed on it which is really quite cool. So um, I can turn up the speed here. Well turn down and then up the speed. Um, and then you've got the different kind of like uh, setting speeds here um, this is really good really useful to have this because you know it, it, you need sometimes you don't want the lathe spinning really really fast sometimes you do so that's really good that's really handy and this one as well this this swivels this whole unit kind of like unlocks under here uh, and then this whole unit sort of swivels out and I can put bigger work pieces on those so that's normally quite handy if I'm working on something quite a large um, and as I say it is a very big lathe if you look at the size of it it's quite long. I mean, look at the size of it. It's got, it, you know, I've got it on this uh, big lathe stand, but you can put it on a bench. But with this type of lathe, because it's quite big, it's kind of better on a on a stand like that, really. But it's a really great piece of kit. I really like it. So um, I'm not sure about upgrading it just yet. Uh, they have brought out a new one, and I am tempted. But this one's fine for the moment. And that's it. I've just tried to tidy up and put all things up here. Like, I've got all my kind of like uh, clamps up here, little ones, little clamps. I've got more clamps up here, <laughs> bigger ones, uh, more clamps over here with my hats. Um, and I've got more clamps over here, up there, and little diddy clamps over here. You can never have enough clamps. So as you can see, I've cleaned my shop. Um, so there you go, a little bit of a shop tour for you. Um, if anyone wants me to do a bit more of a tour on bits of the machinery that I've got uh, and a bit more in depth um, of some of the machines and some of the tools that I use, let me know in the comments and obviously I'm happy to do those on a Wednesday for you guys. I know that the Wednesdays isn't for everybody, but there are some people that are interested in you know the actual bits and pieces that um, that I use and some of you listen to me waffle on. But I hopefully have got a project for you this Friday. Um, it's uh, it's another tricky one. I always seem to get into doing tricky, complicated projects. Why can't I just do something simple? Do something simple, Nick. But I seem to get complicated all the time and uh, this one is starting to kind of like get a little bit com it's not complicated it's just a little bit difficult i didn't think it was going to be as difficult as it has been but this one is taking its toll i've had a few issues with it but i'm getting there and hopefully it'll be ready for friday if it's not then there won't be a project because i have not got time to start another one just yet um but I i'm confident it will be fine 
So that's it folks, I won't take up too much more of your time, even though I probably said it was a short video, it's probably a long one, um, knowing me. Uh, there we go, just wanted to give you a quick update, say hi, happy new year to everyone. Thank you to everyone that's come over to the channel, the channel is still growing, 65,000 subscribers, that is absolutely crazy, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me, watching my channel and the things that I do. So thanks very much. I hope to try to keep you guys entertained as much as possible. Um, try to think of new, exciting projects. You guys are helping as well with obviously your ideas and I do make note of those uh, and, and they do help me a great deal. So don't stop that, I love it. Um, but um, thanks very much and I hope you've all had a great Christmas and everything and I'll see you this Friday for my project. I've no idea why I've got gloves on, but it's cold out.